Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. Again, welcome. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Sending you the purest of love and light. I pray you're doing wonderful. You're feeling blessed. You're highly favored. Knowing that God is for you. And because he's for you, who can be against you? So welcome, welcome. If this is your first time, I hope this message will resonate with you. Returning soul tribers, new soul tribers, how are you doing? Happy holidays, happy holidays to you and yours. I pray you're doing well. You're taking it in. Again, with these messages, I just want you to keep in mind that, you know, even if they come off a little bit triggering, it's not, well, at least not from my end. But I am just open to what divine has in store for us. I am included as well um, as we close out 2023 so that when we are in 2024, we have a better handle as to how we're going to avoid some of the things. Yes, there are things in life we can't avoid, but yes, there are some things that we can we learn, we live and we learn. So that way, this time, God's will in next year, we will have, if you, you know, we will have more successful, you know, checkoffs of the things that we wanted to accomplish. So the goal is that every day we're one step better, closer to the life, to the dream, to our purpose, to our destiny. So let us get into the word. Let's get into the message. So for the first card we have here is courage. Have courage. Awaken the warrior of light within you. So I'm not sure what you're going through. But the divine God is asking you to have courage. To be strong. To not be afraid of the circumstances around you. It's like, as long as you don't allow the cares and the problems of this world to get inside of you, then you are okay. It's like, don't allow the things, the people around you, the situations to drag you down. Don't allow those things to drag you down so that you are trapped, you are defeated, you are brave, awaken the warrior within you. Is that you're a fighter, you are a go-getter, you don't stop. It's like you're just too crazy to stop. It's like you just know you're a winner. You are driven, you are focused, you are determined. And maybe, I don't know what happened in your life or what is going on, but you're called to awaken. So this means that it's like you're sleeping. You're sleeping on this fighter spirit that you're having you. It's like, why are you feeling so sad? It's like, somebody may say, why are you allowing this thing to trip you up? Normally, you're somebody, if, so, if this happened in the past, you would get up and you would fight back. You would be stronger. What is going on? Why are you feeling so cast, you know, cast down? Like in the Bible, cast down my soul. It's like don't allow life and the things around you to get inside of you. And I know the enemy, his plans, his tricks is to let us want to give up on our destiny, give up on our purpose, to lay traps and blockages in our lives. Even people, the enemy will use to try to sabotage us, blackmail us, to try to... to abort the mission so that we will get discouraged and fall off the trail but the God is saying awaken the warrior of light within you because you are a fighter you're a light worker you're a healer awaken this warrior of light that is within you because what you're up against is darkness and whenever the light turns on whenever light shows up darkness must disappear 
So even though we are allowing the shadow to scare us, to intimidate us, when in fact we are more powerful, because once you step in, once you awaken, step back into who you are, whose you are, the strength, once you realize who you are, the impact, the punch that you have, then once you show up, darkness must disappear. The enemies must flee. But, you know, it's like this thing in your life may want you to feel like it's not worth it. Why bother? And God is saying, no, 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 no. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Awaken this worry of light that's within you. This, you know, I don't recognize that side of you. Wake up from your slumber. So you need to have courage. Some of you, you are walking in this place right now where you are, where you have courage, where you're strong, you're brave. It's like God knows what he puts inside of all of us when we show up in this world. So this is why he can tell you, wake up, you're stronger than you think. When you are weak, I am strong. Let me help you. I want to see you through this. Whatever this is that you are going through, whatever this is that you're facing right now. Yeah, the love of your dragon reaches out to you. The realm of your truth is opening up to you. Yeah, so like I said, when you are weak, he's strong. The love of your dragon. So it's like the love of God is reaching out to you. The spiritual realm is opening up to you right now. You have access to what God has in store. It's like, get up. I have everything that you need. I am with you. I am for you. I love you. You are not alone in this. I am with you. And look, the tree of wishes is calling your name. An almost forgotten wish will now come true. I love this. So maybe in the past, you prayed about something. You wish you long for something. That maybe you even forgot that you prayed about it. And the divine, this is your confirmation for some of you, is that it is coming true. Dreams do come true. Dreams do come true. See, like the song says, he may not come when you want him, but he'll always be there on time. He's an on-time God. You made a wish. Maybe you made a marking somewhere. Maybe you went outside, you, you talked to, to the stars, the moon, in nature, somewhere you wrote down something, an almost forgotten wish will come true for you. I love that. Have the courage to be free. Know that freedom begins where desire ends. Yeah, wow, courage. Another card of being strong. Have the courage to be free to break out of social and cultural norms. What people think and say is right. People's opinion. Knowing you don't desire your, anybody. It's like all you need is God. Have the courage to be free. I mean, what is it that you're trapped in? What, what thoughts? Have you trapped? You know, again, embarking on a new year, you may need to release certain relationships, certain jobs, where you may say you want the freedom to be on your own, to create your own business, to be more independent in certain areas of your life. The divine is saying, have the courage to be free. Because sometimes we want something, sometimes we want something, but then 
we're fearful. We don't want to step out because what if it fails? What if that business fails? What if that relationship fails? What if, what if I let go and they don't receive me? But then how are you going to know if you don't do it? How are you going to know if that relationship, if that business is going to make it or not if you don't give it a try? Have the courage to be free. Two courage cards under each other here. Have the courage to be free. Wow. Look, a wonderful surprise is coming. Something entirely new awaits you. Yeah. Surprise. Something new is coming your way. So God has things in store for you. And this is why he's calling you to wake up. Wake up. Wake up the warrior, the fighter that's within you. It's like don't allow fear to talk you out of what this thing is that you need to come in to because it's already done it's like god already did his part you just need to hold on and i know sometimes when we don't see the answers immediately it just seems as if it's not gonna work it just seems as if it's it's too good to be true and we want to throw in the towels, but we also know that it's always too soon to quit. Always too soon to quit. Oh, I forget to show you guys. I have, I have this new hobby now. I'm, you know, I made this candle for myself. I thought, you know, this is so cool. I made two different kinds. Look, I'm so proud of myself. I should tell you, I I mean, it's been burning like all day. It's just, it's something new, something good. You know, it's, it's interesting. I like it. Yeah. But be open to receive. It's like God is waking you up to receive this gift that is coming. Wow. Look, the time of guilt and shame ends now. Forgive yourself and begin to love yourself just as you are. The time of guilt and shame ends now. This is not of God. For some of you, some of us, mistakes that, that we've made, we find it hard to forgive ourselves. Or we even think maybe God won't forgive us. But yes, he already forgave you. But it's important for you to release this. It's like no wonder. Have courage. Wake up this warrior within you. Because by you feeling guilty about the things that happened to you in your past. Or ashamed. Then this is holding you back. This is why you're so doubtful. This is why you're so fearful that moving on in the future things may not work everything is no no fail fail for you because you haven't forgiven yourself the divine is saying forgive yourself and begin to love yourself just as you are accept yourself for who you are self-love don't allow anybody else to Interfere with the love you have for yourself. Embrace who you are. This is like self-care. It's time to nurture yourself. And maybe you think that this wish, this thing you prayed about in the past, you probably thought that it's not coming true because I've been, you know, I've done so many wrongs in my life that, you know, it's impossible for me to be blessed. How could I think? What was I thinking that this would come true for me? And God is saying, no, I've already forgiven you. Forgive yourself and love yourself and move on and do this now. So it's like today, now, you can have this life that you want. Because unforgiveness is that blockage that is preventing you from stepping into your newness 
and see a wonderful surprise is coming. But the longer we delay our own healing, then the longer it's going to take for this surprise, this blessing to show up in our life. Because it is blocked. It is blocked. Wow. Yeah. So this courage could be regarding your stability. But here it says you will be stable and very prosperous. Make stability a top priority and commit yourself to consistency. So make it a daily habit, whatever you're working on. Keep going at it. You will be stable and very prosperous if you commit yourself to this. If you get a handle of, on your situation. So even if it's a case with money, you will be stable and prosperous. But you need to make it a priority so that you don't make the same mistakes in the future. Get a handle on the spending, on budgeting. See, it's not how much we make, but it's really what we do with it. <clears throat> it's like one of the thing, or things that I cherish, memories for me and my mom before she passed away. Uh, she taught me how to do couponing. She, she was a coupon queen. And she used to buy body wash, laundry soap. She would buy it like, you know, in the, the should I say corner stores? But those were like the pharmacy I touch. I don't want to say any specific names. But even today, I mean, it's nothing illegal. People use coupons. They have coupons there. But like, say, for example, body wash. It may say if you buy one or two, you get $5 back. And so I will have a list of the things that I want to buy. Maybe they are not on sale. So I will pick up the things that I, I want or will use in the near future. But then with those, if I buy them, I will get some money back. So if that one body wash says I will get $5 back, Maybe it says if I buy two of this toothpaste, I can get $10 back. So then what I'll do, I'll go to the cashier and of course I'll ring up the ones where I get the money back first. So then I have $15. Of course you don't get the money back in dollars. It's on the coupon. So then it's $15. So then when I ring up the things that I want, if that bill comes to say $30, I got back 15 from the store so then I only end up paying $15 and of course if you know the store they give away their own coupons as well so sometimes I may, be, may even be able to get uh, percentages off of the regular item things so I love to do that I it's like you know I'm sure the stores they know how to balance things out so it's not hurting their bottom line but it, it feels good knowing that I can save a few dollars. So this is a part of being fiscally responsible as well. And I mean, I hope some of you, you'll find it helpful. I mean, nothing is wrong with, you know, sometimes people turn up their nose at people who are couponing and stuff like that. But I love it. And even though she passed away, whenever I go to that store where she would shop and I do that, you know, it's like I can just feel her presence with me because she loved, loved, she really enjoyed that. So, you know, if, if, if it's your stability that's in question where you don't have the strength, especially a lot of us want to be financially free. But in order for us to do that, we have to make sacrifices. We have to change up the way how we see money. Nothing is wrong with money. The love of it is the root of all evil. We have to learn how to budget it. It's energy, you know. So we have to look at the people who are around us too. Because sometimes when we're hanging around negative people, they block the flow of our money. So it's important for us to, to look at, at the relationships that we have around us. It's like wake up. 
you know, I want you to be prosperous and abundant, you know, because maybe some, some of us, some, some of you, you are not spending your money responsible. And God is saying, wake up, you know, wake up this warrior within you. Wake up, you know, get another job. Wake up, look outside of this job. Wake up, it's time to do something else. If you want the stability, you need to do something else. Yeah, sports. Collaborate or work as a team to boost your finances. Yeah, so it's like be a good sport. See, the love of your dragon, like I said, the love of God re is reaching out to you. God wants you to collaborate, to co-create with him. In order to to build this thing here to make these changes in in your in your in your life so it's like be a good sport be a good sport work with me i am not punishing you but i need you to to learn to be disciplined enough to do this Wow. Some of you, entertainer, your charm and influence will help you get ahead. So for some of you, musician, showgirl, dancer, host. So could it be that this, this wish that you have that's coming true, it's in the show business as a musician, a singer, you know, in the entertainment industry. So again, you have been praying about this and it's coming true for you. Wow. I love that. Yeah, at the back of the deck, strategy. Become more strategic to succeed in the long term. Yeah, so you need to think outside the box. To have that courage to be free, you need to think outside of the box. What messages the divine? What confirmations? Because again, you may be praying because you want to do something else. And God is saying, be strategic, you know, be creative. Wow. And it's like the same card came back out. Yeah, becoming more strategic to succeed in the long term. Look at your current goals and imagine what obstacles may appear. So it's like if you want to start a business, think about it. You know, write down the positives and the negatives. Strategize how you're going to get the money. How you're going to come up with certain things in order to put your plans in place. In order to change this thing that you need to, to have come into your life. The past. The past is coming back. Old job or old connections. Look to the past to understand the future. A lesson or an old skill. For some of you, the past may be holding you back. Teach yourself to be present. So yeah, so the past is coming back. Maybe a past job. An old connection. Somebody wants to spin the block that's coming in but again it says look make sure you can look to the past we live and we learn right to understand how we can do better in the future but be careful to you know again be strategic why is the past coming back because sometimes the past is coming back like say a past person only because they want to to hold you back they want to sabotage you from moving forward because here we have a wonderful surprise is coming. And a lot of you, the enemy knows that you have something good coming in and they will want to sabotage that for you. So, you know, handle that with caution. How you hand, you know, what do you think? Wow, angelic help. I can't make it up. Your angels are blessing you with new opportunities right now. Your angels are assisting you. Know you will be provided for. 
you must ask the angels to come into your life and help you. So speak to God. Tell him like the song says all about your troubles. He wants to help you. What is it? What are your desires? What are your fears? What are your hang-ups? You know, the mistakes you have made. Where are you on your journey right now? Where you can't even talk to anybody about it. But you can talk to God about it. You don't worry. You don't have to worry about other people using it against you. But God is standing by just like we saw the card here. You know, he loves you. And he wants to work with you. It is not his will that any of us should perish. But it's important, again, we have not because we ask not. At the back, it says here, financial, uh, it says counselor. A financial coach can help you reach your financial goals. So in order to be a healer, you must come from a healed place as well. So yes, so for a lot of you, a lot of us, we need to get advice probably with credit, credit repair, credit counseling. You know, if you want to purchase something, you know, just having your, your house in order. You may need to invest and you need to speak with a financial coach or advisor as far as how to deal with your finances as well. So yes, it's good. It's better when we are healed in certain areas, especially if it's an area that you're talking about. You need to be healed or have some experience in that area as well. So, you know, a financial counselor may be something that we need so that, again, we don't make the same mistakes going into the future. Wow, at the back of the deck here, it's envy. Yeah, I saw it like two times already when I was pre-shuffling envy. So somebody may be envying you or you could be envying somebody as well, you know, because you may not look like it. For some of you, you may be stable. You already went through all of this. And you came out of it and you're on the other side. And this is just confirmation for you. So, you know, you just take it how it resonates. But either way, as we make more money, new money, we need to co-create with the divine and to be able to handle that responsibly. Spirit, any other card? Any other? Ooh, luck luck your luck is about to change for the better you could get a lucky break some financial breakthrough anything you do now will be very very prosperous for you two varies there okay so anything you do now will be very very prosperous when i see luck i see blessings showers of blessing your luck is about to change for the better i love this for you i love this for you Again, it's like when you're putting in the work, you're collaborating with the divine, you know, to whom much is given, much is required. Wow. Growing up, it's time to step into your own power and stop engaging in childish qualities. Don't rely on others to help you and care for you. This mess is yours to clean up. Avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all the skills to make your own. Wow. This is like so to the point and blunt. Yeah, grow up. Take responsibility of your own financial affairs. Uh, the Bible says it by the sweat of your brow, you shall eat bread. It's like if a person doesn't work, then they should not eat. You know, so yeah, this is what this is saying. Don't rely on other people. Plus, you know, during these tough times too, it's, it's very hard. You know, it's a sacrifice. I mean, we see it, you know, food. It's one time it was cheap to feed people. No, it's like now it's it's cheaper to clothe somebody, buy them some clothes. Food is very expensive. So even persons who were home, they have to be going back out in order to help to 
uh, bring up the income in their household. But, you know, I guess this is more talking to persons who don't want to work, who are relying heavily on others. Um, I, 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 I have some experience in that area, you know, having codependent persons who were relying on me. I have to be the head, you know, breadwinner. Win, bread and so, yeah, avoid depending on someone else to take care of you. So, and again, you have to be smart too. This is a part of you growing up that you can't just be too frivolous with your money because people will use you. Man or woman, people will use you. They will suck you dry. And when they're done, they walk away. They leave you. They leave, they leave you. So, you know, you, you just have to take that how it resonates with you. Anything else, Spirit? You don't want burdens. And see, that's the thing. When, when you set up your life in a way where... You don't have to depend on other people. You have a better relationship with them as well. Because I think one of the easiest way to fall out of relationship with, you know, a friend or family members is when you don't have, when you have to borrow. When you have to borrow. Yeah, spirituality. You're, you're being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path at this 